Hi there, kids. Have you ever seen a flamingo before? If you have, you probably noticed their bright pink feathers and long, skinny legs. Flamingos are some of the most unique birds in the world, and they always grab everyone's attention when they're around. In today's video, we're going to explore the incredible world of flamingos and uncover some fascinating facts about them. Why are they pink? Why do they stand on one leg? And what makes them so special? Stick around, because you're about to learn all this and so much more. Flamingos aren't just beautiful birds, they're also full of surprises. So, let's jump right into our flamingo adventure and discover everything there is to know about these amazing creatures. Did you know that flamingos are not born pink? That's right. When baby flamingos, called chicks, first hatch from their eggs, they don't have any of those famous pink feathers. Instead, their feathers are gray or white, and they look completely different from adult flamingos. So, how do these little gray chicks transform into the stunning pink birds we all know and love? It all comes down to their diet. Flamingos eat a lot of tiny shrimp, algae, and other little creatures that live in the water. These foods are packed with a special natural chemical called carotenoids. Carotenoids are what give flamingos their pink or reddish color. The more carotenoid-rich food a flamingo eats, the brighter their feathers become. In fact, flamingos that eat a lot of shrimp often have the most vibrant colors. It's almost like their food is a magical paintbrush coloring their feathers. And guess what? If a flamingo changes its diet, its color might fade or even change. Isn't that incredible? If you've ever seen a picture or video of a flamingo, you've probably noticed something funny. They love to stand on one leg. It might look like a silly balancing act, but there's actually a good reason why flamingos do this. Flamingos spend most of their time in shallow water, and water can be very cold, especially at night. To stay warm, flamingos pull one of their legs up close to their body, which helps them conserve heat. Their long legs don't have feathers to keep them warm, so tucking one leg away is like putting on a cozy blanket. But there's more. Standing on one leg also helps flamingos stay still, which is useful when they're looking for food. By keeping their bodies steady, they can avoid scaring away the tiny creatures they want to eat. And here's a fun challenge for you. Can you try standing on one leg like a flamingo? It's harder than it looks. Flamingos are not loners. In fact, they love to live in big groups called colonies or flocks. These groups can be enormous, sometimes including hundreds or even thousands of flamingos. Living in such large groups has many benefits. For one thing, it helps them stay safe from predators. When there are so many flamingos together, it's harder for a predator like a fox or a bird of prey to pick out just one. Flamingos also work together to find the best spots for food and nesting. And let's not forget about how amazing it looks when a huge flock of flamingos is gathered in one place. It's like a pink sea of feathers. But even in these big groups, flamingos form close bonds with their families. They stay near their mates and take care of their chicks together, making sure everyone is safe and well-fed. It's like being part of one big flamingo team. Did you know flamingos are great dancers? When it's time to find a mate, flamingos put on an incredible show by performing special dances. These dances are a mix of wing flapping, head bobbing, and marching in sync with the other flamingos. Imagine hundreds of flamingos moving together in a perfectly coordinated routine. It's like watching a professional dance team. The purpose of these dances is to show off their health and strength. A flamingo with the best dance moves is more likely to attract a mate. What's even more amazing is that these dances aren't random. 
Flamingos seem to know exactly what moves to do and when to do them. It's almost like they're choreographed. Next time you see flamingos at a zoo or on TV, watch closely, you might just catch them putting on their dance show. Flamingo beaks are one of their coolest features. They're not just any ordinary bird beaks. They're specially designed tools that help flamingos eat their favorite foods. A flamingo's beak is curved downward and acts like a natural filter. Here's how it works. Flamingos dip their beaks into the water, scoop up a mix of water, mud, and food, and then use their tongues to push the water and mud out. What's left behind are the tiny shrimp, algae, and other tasty treats they love to eat. It's like using a strainer to separate spaghetti from water after cooking. Their beaks are perfectly suited for this task, and it's one of the reasons flamingos are such successful feeders. They can spend hours filtering food from the water, making sure they get all the nutrients they need to keep their feathers bright and their energy levels high. Flamingos are truly world travelers. They can be found in many different parts of the world, including Africa, South America, the Caribbean, and even parts of Asia and Europe. Each region is home to its own species of flamingo, and they all have slightly different features. For example, some flamingos are taller, while others are smaller. Some are bright pink, and others have more orange or reddish feathers. What they all have in common is their love for shallow water. Flamingos prefer to live in places like salt flats, lagoons, and wetlands where they can find plenty of food and space to roam. Their habitats might look peaceful, but they're often very challenging environments. Flamingos are incredibly adaptable and can survive in places where other animals can't. Isn't that amazing? From their vibrant colors to their unique behaviors, flamingos are some of the most fascinating birds on Earth. They've adapted to their environments in incredible ways, from filtering food with their beaks to dancing in flocks to find a mate. Flamingos remind us of the beauty and diversity of nature. And the next time you see a flamingo, whether in the wild, at a zoo, or in a picture, you'll know so much about them. You'll know why they're pink, why they stand on one leg, and even how they dance. Isn't learning about animals fun? Thanks for watching today's video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing animal adventures. See you next time, kids!